Alright, I I guess this is another KBAT uh, questions about the graph or you can call it a quadratic questions. Alright, this question is just four mark but uh, I think it's not that easy if you don't understand about the quadratic equations and you don't know how how actually the quadratic equation work this question might be quite tough for you and I actually did about this question last time I think it's from one of the state paper last year I mean their try try exam paper but I'm not sure which one is it and then the student actually asked me again about this question so I decided to just make this short video about this format question alright let's have a look on this question so you will see the diagram 6 actually show a, a bridge uh, support supported by a parabola shaped building so basically yeah this is parabola shaped building and then this one will be the bridge right the equation of the parabola shapes actually it, it give you the equation for this uh, oops okay it actually give you the the uh, the equation for the bu for the building so okay so we actually know that these are oops uh, okay we actually know that okay is a technical issue here Okay, we actually know that uh, the equation for this parabola shape. Okay, we assume this parabola shape is basically y equals to negative one over one thousand x square plus four. Alright, so okay, so and then the the question says the distance between the two end of the cur curve, which is lo located on the bridge, which is four hundred meter, and the height of the bridge uh, is 5 meter from the ground find the maximum height of the building from the ground so we have some uh, information here mean from one end to the other end of the bridge basically you will get a 400 I guess you will get a 400 meter here and then the height of the bridge which is here which is 5 meter alright and then what the question wants the question basically they want the uh, the maximum height I mean maximum height of the bridge from the ground okay so maybe I use other color la. red color is just like so okay so they want you to know what is the total height here all right this this is the purpose of whole question okay in order to solve this question there's some uh, something you need to understand about uh, the quadratic equation okay whenever you see the quadrat quadratic equation normally is ax square plus bx plus c okay most of the time the kbat question actually they have certain pattern already so in order to make this one as a kbat question you will find out it definitely the bx doesn't exist one so you will always have the equation which is ax squared plus c because it's bx exit uh in your equation then then the, the curve actually will be more complicated you will move move around on your x axis and y axis but when bx doesn't exist means what the bs bx do, doesn't exist mean your equation only like ax square plus c in this case the a is negative 1 over 1000 and c is po positive 4 you should be able to understand so if if bx doesn't exist is mean your curve is is it uh your maximum point or minimum point will always on the y axis mean your curve must be like this so you see the maximum is on the y axis or the curve it can be like this so you can see the maximum or minimum is always on the y axis and this is parabola graph parabola graph means what the uh your right hand side of and your left hand side is always symmetry one they are always a symmetry to each other all right so and then the second information you you will need to understand is the plus four there all right so i will just like give you some idea okay let's say uh okay let's say i have y i have the y equals to uh negative x square so if i have y equals to negative x square my curve basically it will look like this 
okay it's like it actually it will touch at zero and then plus four what will happen is whenever i plus four the curve actually is the same it just moves slightly higher and then touch the four here because if you're trying to make x equal to zero which you want to find y intercept you'll get become the positive four all right so if i actually make the value like uh if let's say this is negative 10 x squared plus 4 what will happen is the 10 actually just um make the curve become more narrow i, I can say close closer to the y exit means the a value become bigger is actually it will more closer to the y exit and then if the a value is a smaller actually it will become broader so if i have the, something like uh, negative 1 over 100 uh, x square so actually my curve actually will become uh, broader a bit so if i have 10 so it's actually it will become very uh, it will become more narrow it will become narrow mean closer you can find the distance here it actually is closer to y exit all right this is the function of a and then plus four actually just mean the curve actually will shift up four unit okay this so this is a very basic but but uh, i guess a lot of spm student doesn't learn this so of course i can explain further on this part but then in this format question so i just do not, uh, do not want to scare you so i just go into the question okay so okay so the first thing is i know the 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 y axis actually on the middle but i do not know where is my x axis this is not my x axis all right because some student might think this is x axis this is not so i will have a parabola curve which is like this so so because it's symmetry so i know here it, be, it should be 200 and the other side must be 200 so i have a curve look like this and then the y axis is here and then the distance between my y axis to 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 the point here is is, is basically 200 unit so i have another 200 unit here this is the reason why actually they say the bridge is 400 so sum up so the 200 from y exit here i know it means something it means that my x value is 200 but i do not know my y value okay so i want to find my y value is very easy what i will do is i will substitute the 200 into the x so if i substitute my, the 200 into the x here i basically get negative 1 over 1000 multiply 200 square plus 4 and then you use the calculator calculator will tell you this one is negative 36 so that's mean that's mean if this one is uh, the negative i mean the height here it will be negative 36 then i roughly know my x as it is here because the equation actually plus 4 right so my maximum here is 4 so okay so this one is this one is basically the bridge okay this one is the bridge and then th this one so some student might think of uh, uh, 36 to 4 is just 40 unit but then the height actually is from the ground you still remember the bridge actually there's a still have a 5 meter here is the ground so the ground basically uh the the ground basically is over here this uh the yellow color one okay this is the ground so the total height from the ground to the building so it will be here isn't it so it's just 5 and then this 36 to 0 here is 36 unit and then from x exit to 4 here is 4 unit so just so i will say the total height is just equals to 5 plus 36 plus 4 so it'll be 5 plus 36 plus 4 so you will get the answer which is 45 meter so this is the total height of this question yeah i'm i mean this is the final answer so for this question yeah because the question actually find the maximum height lah. i i mean the maximum height of the building from the ground so yes yeah, so for this question actually is not like uh like super hard but then the i the idea over here is yeah you need to get the idea what's the meaning of plus four plus four means actually is like x exit and then you will go up four units mean your maximum here actually you, from here actually i can easily know i do not know uh i can easily know this is zero four la. okay if you un 
if you understand about curve because on the y axis mean x equal to zero you make x equal to zero and then you will get four so the maximum point here is zero four okay but then i do not know uh what is the y value on my bridge here so what i will do is because i know this parabola graph both sides is symmetry so what i will do is i know this coordinate is it should be 200 y so what i will do is i substitute the 200 into the x here and then i got my y value here is uh, negative 36. so if this one is the negative 36 to 4 i know here already have the 40 unit already i'm i mean 40 meter all right and then from the bridge and then this one is a ground right ground have another 5 meter so the top the maximum height is just 40 plus 5 so it will be 45 meter all right i hope this short video actually can uh, give you some idea about uh, what is quadratic equation and how to uh, visualize the equation and then the most important thing is you have to understand this kind of kbat question even if it's just four mark but I, I really hope you can do this kind of question in your spm exam anyways thanks for watching